Hello cooking enthusiasts! In today's video, I'm going to update you once again on my misos. What is the plural of miso? Is it misos? Mises? I don't know. Anyways, the last time we discussed miso, I had opened and tasted my hazelnut miso, and I've been using that quite a bit. My cocoa nib miso is continuing to age, but I've blended it up a little so it's a smooth consistency. About two months after I considered the hazelnut miso done, I also blended and started using my black pepper and soy miso, as well as my mustard miso. Let's talk about the least successful miso first. The mustard seed miso is okay. Obviously, it's very pungent, and fortunately, it's not bitter like some homemade mustard products can be. It's just not as transformed as I was hoping. Mustard seeds are actually pretty nutritionally similar to soybeans in terms of the ratios of fats, proteins, and carbs, so I thought the koji would develop the flavor a little more, although it might need more aging. The black pepper and soy miso definitely turned out a bit better, probably because I did use somewhat standard miso ingredients. It had a good balance of peppery pungency with a smooth miso flavor, but I do think the fermentation mellowed out the peppercorns a little bit, which I was hoping for. It's pretty good on its own, but it really shines when blended with other misos. In general, my koji projects like miso could all probably use some extra aging, but I'm only so patient. The hazelnut is definitely the, my favorite, but let me know if you have any ideas for other stuff I should try making into miso in the future. I have one more package of koji spores before I need to order some more, and I hope to be using them fairly soon, so you can look forward to that video soon. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, of course, leave them as a comment. Otherwise, thank you for watching.